It matters not how far you travel, for trouble will find you all the same. Here in Ashwood, all seems well, but there is a sound in the distance, a rumbling for a moment, followed by unearthly screams. Yes, it is here again. The strange sinkhole has emerged. And of course, we're not going to make the same mistake that we made last time. We are going to throw someone in there, but we're going to make sure it's someone that we are going to keep alive. So that means that we need to capture somebody. We need a prisoner. And so as ever, we hope for raids. Our defenses are better than ever. We're prepared for our phones. Manos secretly praying that some humans are sent our way. As with those humans at this little butcher's table over here, we are going to be able to craft ourselves some flesh golems. That, that is the goal today. Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here and welcome back to Call of Rimhammer, world of magic and madness. And we have a hospital now. Well, the start of a hospital. And Tyrant is in here because of the muscle parasites, of course. But he's doing okay, seemingly. He's being tended. It's going to be fine. Mordecai, as ever, you are doing a fantastic job. You might also notice that we've been chipping out this area here. This is going to be a prison of a sorts, as we need somewhere to store our prisoners. And this will make them a little happy, or rather it would have, unless it was stolen by Cisco. Thank you. Let's uh, drop that. This is our esoteric image that we are going to install in the temple here, obviously it's going to be off center, <laughs> so we're just going to have to stick it over towards the side for now. And I feel like that'll fit okay. But yes, we have a strange sinkhole to have a look at. It is a massive sinkhole that is opened up nearby. A colossal beast writhes within, clawing at the minds of our colony with unseen fingers. It demands a sacrifice. Feed it or destroy it. And so this will be having an impact on our colonists. Let's just have a look and see if we are noticing anything. Uh, not there. Not there either. So we're okay for now. And this is the interesting thing. I've noticed occasionally that our skeletons get upset when they observe undead. Yeah, maybe it's more that they're upset, you know, seeing skeletons that are under the control of Manos, completely unthinking, unmoving. I mean, Cisco's just been standing here. We'll, we'll let you go. Back to, uh, <laughs> back to work with you. But yes, time is going to be rolling on by here as we build our little prison and hope that we get some foes heading our way. And if, if we don't, we'll just have to go out there and bring them back. For the prison itself, I think we are just going to go and smooth the stone and we can just kind of do it like that. So unintentionally, it's going to be a rather nice looking prison, but it gives our dead something to do. Ah, look at this. We've got a spell scroll in here, a scroll named Arcane Bolt. So we're gonna pop that one out here. This is a basic spell that I pretty much wanna have on all of our wizards so that they have some ranged magic casting potential. With Manox, we kind of wanna make sure that he almost always has mana available to him. So this might be better for someone like Tyrant or Jalen or Leandra. I mean, Jalen doesn't actually have a huge amount of mana available at any stage. So maybe we'll make this a Tyrant thing. Yes, go ahead and learn that, why don't you? Yet another masterwork, Leandra, off the charts, and, and, and another. Okay, just limestone stools that are masterworks and some battle animals. We'll look at those in just a moment. <laughs> we had Tyrant learn Arcane Bolt. We're just going to go and say, yeah, sure, cast that. 25 mana, so he can go through it pretty quickly, and he is still holding on to the Orb of Souls. Aha, uh -huh, I see. We'll keep it safe. Right, let's have a look at these battle animals, see what we are looking at uh oh these ones here ripper hounds a and they're ours hunting animal of the legion of the hand yup oh we've got a breeding pair that that's fantastic ripper hounds yeah okay we are going to fully train them we've got battle animals like proper 
battle animals and they're well fitting. Let's just try and get a little bit more information on them. So this is from Alpha Animals. Ripper hounds were created as a purely biological defense against insectoids, a genetically engineered species bred for hunting and defeating them. These hulking canines sport two viciously sharp claws specifically designed to attach to the chitinoid plates and rip them apart. Despite their fearsome appearance, ripper hounds can be extremely affectionate and loyal, and they love to be pet by those they trust. Well, isn't that interesting? And uh, hey, Jarlin wants to change her looks. Sure. Um, automatically use an available styling station. I believe we do have a styling station available. Let's just see. Uh, where would you be? Well, that's the barber's table. That's the face painting table. Styling station. Okay, it is there, so she should be able to change her style. Uh, you know what? I'll let you do it. We'll let her decide if and when that happens. Ooh, that. That's tasty. We've got a steel ingot mining work site. It's going to be here for 30 days, and there's 12 people here. This is the Arctic Fox Clan. And there's roughly 1,200 steel ingots there. I would love to be able to bring all of those back with us. We would need to bring some of the Roxes with us, which means, you know, uh, bringing them back to life. But the Arctic Fox Clan, how do they fit into the world? Honestly, I don't see them here. So they might not have any proper settlements. Yeah, no, okay. Well, that makes this decision very easy then. Righto, Manostraville, let's get you popping out here and raising some undead. There, there, there they are, our two roxes, back to life. I think we're going to send Manos and Leandra because I would like Manos to be able to teleport back with a whole heap of the resources. The rest of it will be brought back by Leandra. And it's probably still worth us bringing some of the dead with us here. Obviously, it would be nice to be able to bring back some bodies uh, so that they can be processed or we just kind of process them there I guess we'll decide eh but this is looking good 0.6 days to get there and we won't be needing actually we will need a little bit of food because Whisperfy is still alive <laughs> all right let's go with that okay we have arrived and look at them all just flooding out of the structures here Nice place, and what are you? A mature flesh beast, of, of course you are. Of course you are. Well, you look fun. And oh boy, look at all of that. Okay, so we are going to group the group together. Um, let's hope the pack beasts just decide to stay back for now. If we are going to do this fight, ideally we'll kind of do it over in this direction. We have our three dead at the ready. Leandra, I kind of want you hanging back for the moment because we are going to be doing, well, a little fog of torment. I would like them to get closer first though. Let's see, huh? But I don't see any ranged weapons on them. Leandra, down here with you. That's looking like a good group of them, ha? Huh? You know what? We could just do a ruby ring first of all. That should be a good way to kind of kick things off. Indeed, yes. And it looks like they are ready to attack. Steven, let's get you moving in here. And just in case it wasn't clear, we'll make sure that we are attacking them all here now. Yeah, that should, uh, oh, that'll, that'll do it. That just immediately dead over there. Okay, um, right. Oh, we could, mmm, we could summon something big, couldn't we? I, that, that's probably excessive. Let's see, <laughs> we'll just wait here. They're not attacking us yet. Manos, nearly there. Okay, that, oh my gosh, look at it. Summoned Black Queen. It's raging. It's not attacking them yet because for some reason they're still not enemies. Let's just say search and destroy with our lads, which uh, they're not going to want to automatically attack yet. So maybe we'll just uh, we'll, we'll go start attacking them here and see if they, they get the idea. They still have not got the idea. <laughs> okay, Gorlikson. Manos, let's get you moving over here. Well, they're trying to flee. They're trying to flee. We are going to consume one of these corpses. Um, or apparently not. Or not. Um, okay, I guess, I guess they're just running. They just gave up. We're just going to put a home zone down so that we can deal with some of the fires that are that are here. Because I, I, I would like that body to remain somewhat intact. Let's go and check what we've got inside this building. Leandra, pop on in. Okay, so just, just regular beds. But... All of that steel, I'd very much like that to come back with us. Um, yeah, <laughs> that, 
that was so much easier than I anticipated it to be. And we've got a few bodies that we can process. You know what the best thing to do would probably be just bring them back to life so that it can haul stuff back. I am a little concerned about Manos' mana. You don't have any potions on you, do you? No. And ideally, we want him to try and teleport. No, you know what? I, I think the others will be able to take stuff back perfectly fine. Let's see if we can teleport from within here, Manos, because I want to try and bring as much stuff as possible. Looks like that is going to be possible. Okay, there it is. Well, we can take a lot of steel chunks. Like, a thousand here. <laughs> How about we just look at taking the bodies, and then some of the steel. Let's confirm that, and everyone should help us load all of that steel in there. Manos is doing it very, very quickly, and it's ready to go. Of course, we can't launch. Uh, we are going to need to take down the roof real quick. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we can launch. We can launch. <laughs> and let's land. Let's land there for now. Off it goes. <laughs> Manos is teleporting in with bodies and a whole heap of steel, and... Uh, did we have any potions left at this point? Doesn't look like we do. So what we are going to have to do for the time being is just dismiss undead because we don't want to lose any. So we'll take our time dismissing each of our folks until Malus's mana levels out. I think one more person should do it. Let's see, Eamond. Okay, that's it's better, but it's still not as it should be. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We're back to being positive. Gary, <laughs> you get to survive. Uh, for now, we are just going to forbid all these folks. That way they don't uh, go missing. <laughs> and as for this lot here, we're going to get them packed up and heading back home. Sans flesh beast. And they can take all of the steel that's left there. The bodies too. And they're on their way back home. And thankfully, Manos is perfectly fine mana wise now so once they're back we're going to dismiss the other dead and all will be well we nearly have enough meat i think the two bodies that are on their way back will give us enough we need about 450 i think yeah 450 to be able to get a dormant flesh golem and our caravan has made it back home including the summoned black queen which is still hanging around for a little while <laughs> not only that but we got mares ha ah. Probably not as much carrying capacity as the Roxas that we've got, but we might want to try and keep some of them around, and oh boy, I didn't realize that you died. The Mitsuzune. Huh, <laughs> okay. Well, we'll make sure that we allow both of them. Meat from that won't go to waste. Something that we do want to make sure we do pretty quickly is uh, dismiss the Roxas so that Manos can bring everyone else back, and there's a space battle. Of course there is. Uh, well, that's going to be giving us some great resources and also potentially give us some bodies, depending on what drops down from above. We'll keep our eyes peeled. <laughs> I'm currently trying to chase down this goddamn rocks. Halt! <laughs> there we go. And dismissed. Got him. And uh, <laughs> you might have seen them scooting past this. This is a billiards table, but it looks like air hockey right now. And you know what? Screw it. We're going to go with fantasy air hockey. It's magic, it's magic, okay, and oh boy. Yeah, okay, that wasn't much, but oh, it's still steel slag. We can smelt that down. Oh yeah, there we go, bodies. Okay, Mike the Digger, you're gonna make a heck of a flesh golem. <gasps> How? No, Skaven meat, we're missing a Skaven body. Y he was forbidden. I don't know how that happened. We've lost a, we've lost a rat friend. At least I, I think, I think we have. I can't be 100% sure on that, but I just saw Skaven meat pop up all of a sudden. And, uh, it came from somebody. We know that much. Just looking at the flesh golem, you only need crafting four to be able to make it, which is pretty much everybody. Mordecai would be great at this. It's a lot of work, though. It is a lot of work. Can we get that started? Not assigned to butchering, huh? Actually, you know what? Jarlin should be able to do this. Her cooking skill is really good. Her crafting skill isn't that great, but she'll still be able to do it pretty fast. So we are going to prioritize that. Oh, and it looks like she's just prioritizing the bodies right now. That's that's okay. More bodies, though. We like that. And spaceship chunks. There's a few of them. Ooh, we've got a live one. Karina Bender. Let's have a look at you. Good melee. Mountain lover. Psychically sensitive. I think we want to chuck you in the hole. Uh... Limbery, you're just another body that we'll be able to make use of. Although in saying that, we might be able to bring you back to life. Skills are... Actually, your crafting's very good. A hobbit know-it-all, 
but is a dwarf, so maybe you, you're a hobbit historian of some kind. For now, we're going to grab Manos to go and capture Bender, and we'll make sure that Bender does get some kind of treatment. Yet another body. Gomez, quarry worker, huh? Oh boy, and we do have a little bit of a fire. Has someone learnt rain? Rainmaker. There we go. Leandra, make it rain, please. Uh, <laughs> we'll deal with these fires. What are you doing over there? Oh, you, you were casting a spell, of course. Some rain should be... Yeah, there we are. Getting rid of those fires. There's so many ship chunks that we're getting out of this. This is a very useful event. Oh, and our prisoner is already being taken care of. Uh, by Leandra, no less. Who has a medical of... Nothing. Are you actually helping here? Or are you... No, no, you're carving the wall. <laughs> okay. Oh, it looks like Mordecai might have already done the tending then. Let's just see. Um, you're fine, Leandra. Karina, you're okay. Yeah, I think you're gonna pull through. Oh, we've got another person over here. Connor, independent refugee. Let's have a look at you. Uh, not great. We're probably just gonna let you die. But there's so many bodies, we've easily got what we need uh, to, to make a flesh golem. Xena Marshall. Uh, vow of non-violence. Nah, very not useful. We'll just finish you off. Lightning Fang? Okay, now we're talking. Bray Shaman, and you do have something going on. Law of Death Warlock. Hot damn. Okay, we, we, we need to capture you. All right, Manos, head out there. Capture Lightning Fang. We'll see if we can save you. And I should be looking around the map just to see if there is anyone else that could possibly be of use for us. The space battle is ending, so that's everyone, but my gosh, what a useful event. Manos is making the save as we speak. Good. Mordecai is going to get to tending. Thank you very... Oh, you're Gary. <laughs> Whoops, I got confused. It was the Ripper Hound that uh, caught me off guard. Manos is definitely looking better when it comes to mana. We are probably going to have to consume at least one corpse, though, before we can do our raising of the dead. So maybe we just go out to the skeleton here, as there's not going to be any flesh on this lad. Oh, Manos has begun losing his sanity. It's because of the hole, right? Yep, it's the hole. <laughs> okay, let's consume this corpse and see how we're looking. 68, great. Head on back. Okay, we need our crew back. And bam, there they are. Just like that. And we are definitely missing one of our Skaven. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know how that happened. I, I really don't. Are you making the golem? I think you are. I mean, it's hard to, we can't actually select it, but I'm pretty sure that's what Jalen's doing. A flesh golem. Yes. So, the question is, who do we want to chuck into the weird hole? Lightning Fang? I mean, I feel like that would be fitting for this Law of Death Warlock. Is there a chance that we could get you back after that? The other option is that we chuck Karina in there. Hmm. Tough choice. I think I'm tempted to chuck Karina in there because I feel like we're going to want to recruit Lightning Fang regardless. I mean, he isn't a undead, but a Lore of Death Warlock, we can do something with that. So let's go prisoner. We are going to try and see if we can convert you and then recruit you. As for Bender, <laughs> you're going to be going into the mystery hole. Sacrifice prisoner, Karina. A sacrifice is starting. I don't know who is going to go and do it. It's Manos. It's Manos that's doing it. Okay, let's uh, let's follow. Well, here he goes. Oh, another ship chunk. We'll have to make sure that we get that. We're getting components out of it as well, so it's it's a real boon for us. But Manos is making the sacrifice, getting ready to chuck Karina in there. She looks um, content. Yeah. There you go. Oh, drink your potion. And now we wait. We wait for the return. Oh my gosh, there, there's so much meat. That's all Megasloth meat. Okay. <gasps> Look at that. Flesh golem. Dormant. Um, let's install you out here for now. Yeah, and an animal transport crash. A Kirin named Bug. What is a Kirin? Uh, oh, wow. You look cool. Look at that. Elder dragons are so rarely sighted that little is known about their ecology, though everyone knows of the high prices Kirin parts fetch. It's been said that they're one with lightning itself, and their bodies become clothed in pure electricity when they're provoked. 
I would like to try and maybe save this thing. Keep it alive. We don't have to have everything be undead. We do have some animal beds down. We could just chuck down a sleeping spot and see if it wants to stay. Give it the choice before we, um, you know, take that choice away. Lucian, you're pretty close. Lucian's probably the closest. Let's go and do a rescue. Oh, okay. That's the golem. So we can enhance it. Graft muscle tissue. Add digestive organs. Strength. Energy absorbed and used by the golem. 10%. Nutrient absorption. Enhanced automaton. Biomass. We got braces for them. Cleavers. We can attach freaking horns and tusks and attach chest cage there is so much that we can do to this attach bloody wings quad eyes uh yeah reduces that it can be fully blind carve an evil eye neat <laughs> okay i don't think we're gonna put any plates in it or anything else like that i think we'll just try and see if we can animate it Oh, activate. Begins the process of activating the golem. After activating, the golem will move as a normal pawn. Any upgrades or repairs being performed in the dormant state will be discarded. Okay. Well, do I want any of these things? It requires more meat to do anything. <laughs> oh, and it just, you full on absorb corpses. Yeah. Neat. No, I we're just going to activate it. We'll say activate. Oh, it's it's going. It's uh, just walking around. Flesh golem. What do you do? Just you're hauling? Dormant position? Deactivate? <laughs> Great. Let's get some more, please. <laughs> well, it looks like Bug has received some treatment. Whether or not Bug is going to stay, we'll see. Hey. A gremlin tree has sprouted. Okay, okay. Let's um, let's go and harvest this thing. And maybe think about where we want to try and plant that down. We could have a grove up here. Or even this space out here. I feel like that would work as well. And the rescued animal doesn't agree to join. There is only one thing that we can do then. Um, Aerofleets, I, I don't think you should be in here. Well, if you are, it's your own fault. Let's go and drop a fog of torment. And we'll just back out with Nanos. Uh, that was very quick. Oh, sorry, shock goat. We can see how powerful the fog of torment is. Yeah. Um, we're going to forbid that from being picked up. Yeah, don't you go in there. <laughs> oh, you just healed yourself with your spell. Nice. Uh, we're just going to forbid these doors until that's passed. Nanos' room is uh, <laughs> out of bounds for now. I am seriously impressed with how quickly we've tidied up in here, and I wonder if that's in part due to the golem, who is just chilling out. Efficiency. Oh, you're charging energy, I think? Also, is that... Is that you, or is that this? Hard to tell. <laughs> oh my gosh, Hatterack. <laughs> how does this keep happening? <laughs> how does this keep happening? Uh, okay. Um, well, we're going to have to wait. <laughs> we're going to have to wait, unfortunately. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> we just managed to research mana storage, so we are certainly going to be implementing that. I think we've actually got everything we need to be able to put down an arcane capacitor. Yeah, I would like this to go to Manos only, though, so maybe we'll put it in Manos's room. Just like so. Oh, and this is clear. People can go through here now. Okay, arcane artifacts. That's some really nice looking equipment. Ring of blood, malice. I mean, they sound pretty fun. And Winter's Rain, which is the, the, the weapon that Manos uses at the moment. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go for that next. And I don't think that's research that we've unlocked so far. So we're getting different stuff. Ah, and here we go. Information about Dowbringer. We're going to accept it. Have a look. <laughs> the village is right there. Okay, well, Manos certainly needs some more mana before we go off gallivanting. But that is yet another good opportunity for us to get more bodies. That's interesting. Work speed penalty. Outdoors bad temperature. I wonder if we can make a new spot for you once you wake back up. We could just activate you now, right? No? 
Oh, we can. Um, right, dormant position. We are going to set that to be in here. Sure. Ah, oh, Lightning Fang's having a bad time. Hmm. We might need to try and put you back down. Melee attacking Shock Goat. You know what? We'll, we'll let you try that. I mean, the Shock Goat should be able to maybe not kill you. Yeah, I think it's going to win. Okay, good job there, Shock Goat. Oh, sacrifice returned. Our sacrifice to the pit has oddly returned mostly intact. Let's have a look at your health. You're still perfectly fine. So we're going to capture Bender and see what becomes of her. Lucian, go and grab her. Oh, we did actually have some mana potions just hanging out. Manos, we're going to get you to go and just uh, drink one of those, thanks. As then, oh. Uh, okay. Okay. That's not what I intended. He's overdosing. <laughs> Lucian, can you just rescue Manos for us? Is that going to kill? It's a major overdose. Oh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, there's, there's no treatment that we can do here. There's no tending. Um, I'm still going to try and heal. Oh boy, did that... Oh no, he's undead. Yep, I should have bleeding out in 14 hours. Manos, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, we're, we're getting to tending ASAP. Mordecai, get on your way. Wait, what does, does not require tending? Did you just heal? I think you just healed yourself. Yeah, holy wrath. Okay, so you can use heal on undead to do a whole heap of damage to them. Now we know. Um, he has next to no consciousness. We can still use Mordecai, though. I think after the bath, we'll get you to go and preach some health at Manos, because that was... We're very close to death with that. That is, uh... That's not good. <laughs> His right eye was burnt out? That's metal. That is, uh... Wow. But also, his side focus is off the charts right now. I don't know what's going on there, but, uh... Maybe it was from the mana? I don't know. I, I, I'm i not sure, but that is, uh... Oh, boy. So, Manos is going to need a new eye. Um, yeah. Let's keep that in mind. Mordecai, let's do some preaching of health. Oh, Manos is asleep. Can we wake him up? Nope, we cannot, because he's overdosing. Good luck. Good luck. And hey, we've started harvesting some hay. <laughs> With that, we are now able to make these training dummies. Hopefully, that will be enough to satisfy Mordecai, because Mordecai needs a lot of different recreation types. Yeah. Does this satisfy your cravings? Mouse is actually healing pretty fast, all things considered. Oh, and he's throwing up now. Um, not sure if you're awake with your vomiting there, but he's getting out of the system. That's the main thing. I mean, we will try and preach health still. Looks like it might be possible. Please tell me that you're going to be awake. And, oh, here we go. And uh, he's okay. He's back up on his feet. Manos, just, just kind of hang around for a little bit longer if you can. Are you, are you done with your preaching? Oh, no, let's do it. And he is indeed missing an eye. <laughs> oh, boy. The health has been preached. Sure. And your loincloth is no good no more. You can continue to rest, my friend, but yeah, we will need a magic eye. Okay, Manos, we are going to get you back up onto your feet. And we are going to do some raising of dead. We're going to get Hatterack back, and we're going to get Bug back from the dead. And we'll see if you're able to manage with this, with your current mana situation. Hey, you got a deeper understanding of magic, that's a bonus, and Bug... You're just going to get on out there and start hauling for us. I like that. And Bug, I think you'd make a heck of a warm out. In terms of magic, yeah, we are losing some at the moment. We could start to up our spirit even further, which would just give us greater magic and, I think, better regen in general. The only other thing that we'd want to be trying to bump up is the other stuff down here, or even Payson Dead, uh, which just kind of speeds up our dead in general. I feel like that would actually help us out a lot. So we're going to do that first and then we'll focus on the other stuff. We'll just have to keep an eye on that mana, my friend. And Tyrant's out here creating dryad body parts at the moment. A dryad leg and a dryad arms. So we're trying to make a dryad husk. You know, a different form of undead. We don't quite have all the technology yet, but 
It'll show up down the line and hey, look at that. Look at you go. Flesh golem. We haven't had another one as of yet. We do not have enough human meat, I think. Yeah, not quite. 313. Yeah, so it's uh, close but no cigar. I wonder if when it's dormant, those upgrades need any kind of meat? Because then we could do some, we could do some upgrades. I think we might finally have a chance to give Mordecai some magic. We are going to be missing having our moral guide there. It's minus 10%. Still a decent chance of having a good quality though. It does look like we can make the room more impressive. I think we'll give it a, we'll give it a shot. Come on, let's do this thing. Okay, it's looking promising. Give us something. Yes, success. The superior evoking was successful. Mordecai has the spark of magic and will eventually decide on what that is going to be. We have no idea as of yet. So we'll wait and we'll see what that inspiration brings. I have given all of our mages so far magic as their top priority. So we want them to pop into here and to try and fuel this up as much as possible because that's going to help keep Manos fueled. Hey, there we go. Jarlin doing what she needs to do. Good. And the ideal would be that that just pretty much almost always goes to Manos. There we are. Slurping it up. <laughs> Ooh, we've got another arcane bolt scroll done. So, Leandra Hayes, you are our next lucky caster. Oh boy, uh, I was just checking on Bender uh, to see health-wise if anything had changed and um, there is so there's something there. Strange worms. Don't like that. We'll see where that goes. Oh my gosh. Bender has been bitten to death. Yup. Ah, uh, so that happened. There are. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, yup. They burst out of Bender's head. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, they're two male, uh, Chthonian larvae. And they're, well, let's get them tamed. I don't know if they will turn into anything else over time. But, uh, yeah, they can supposedly live for more than a thousand years. They're protective of their young. A chanting sound accompanies them that can be detected while underground and unseen. These things are, uh, they're hefty. They do a lot of damage, but I think they might also make our people go slightly mad. We'll, we'll keep an eye on this situation. <laughs> oh, hey, we do have another body though. So, um, yeah, Jalen, let's do some butchering, please. And I guess we never really check to see if this is making, oh, you're a psychopath. So that's fine. No empathy. You, you're perfect for this job then. We are also tanning a fair amount of human leather. We might actually want to get a few more of these. You know, nothing quite like tanning leather in the kitchen. Gosh, listen to the sound they make. <laughs> fun. Very fun. Uh, and yeah, we've changed the flooring in the temple. I'd like to try and make this as uh, nice as possible for them. Maybe we can put some fun banners in there, right? And that's another arcane bolt spell done. So I, I think we're going to give this to Manos. Just so he has it in his arsenal. Oh, he's riding the larvae. Look at him go. <laughs> oh, we brought this on ourselves, didn't we? Right, lad. While well, we've got you here. Does this... It just says meat. Yeah. Add digestive organs. I'll say yes. And we'll see if that's going to be possible or not. Yeah, it can use any kind of meat. Very nice. Oh, and Mitsusune meat is getting brought over now. And it's uh, Sare that's going to be working on that. Well, good on you. And our work is nearly complete there. All right, digestive organs have been added. <laughs> this is really nice that we can kind of just stand there as Manos and just absorb all the mana that our friends have been putting in here. <laughs> that makes a big difference. A real big difference. I have been instructing our dead to make backpacks. We had them at our last place and they do make a big difference when it comes to hauling back and forth between places. 
so we're going to be sure to try and get everyone equipped with one of those. Inspired recruitment, Jarlin. Once Mordecai gets uh, back the conversion, we can use that. That'll help. Mordecai, as of yet, has not chosen a a profession, so we're waiting still. The magic has not settled. <laughs> The Under Empire this time, but it is a steel ingot mining workshop. So two locations. Actually, we've kind of got three. We've got an ancient complex out there that we'd want to have a look at. So it kind of looks to me like we're going to need to go on a little bit of a journey. First to the village, then to here, and then finally to the ancient complex. Hmm, we might be able to send some folks back with the steel ingots. So here's the plan that I'm wanting to put into action. We've got our worshipful village here, we have the steel ingot mine here, and we also have the ancient complex. I'm thinking we can send Manos in to solo this. This is 17 people, but I want to test, I want to test this man out. We could always send Leandra and some of the others over to here to just do the hack and maybe get some bodies at the same time. We know that Manos teleporting back will be able to bring back most of the steel that would be at this place. The alternative is we actually start him off up here at the ancient complex, and I'm not against that. First thing though, we'll get our caravan sorted up to here. Ah, and we are going to need some beasts of burden. Hmm. Well, we don't want him to overdose on mana again, but we are going to need at least these two to haul back uh, well, what I hope be a decent amount of bodies. So I think going with this route, we are going to forego teleporting and we're going to send Manos along with the others. There we are. Okay, so that's going to start to consume quite a bit of mana for him. We're going to go and suck up this juice before we go. So he's just going to stand there for a little bit and he's going to recharge his mana. And there's a fair amount in there. Okay, just, uh, yep, take all of that, thanks. All right, with all of that mana now in his system, we're gonna get ready to uh, head on out. Before we go though, I'm gonna get our dead to equip all the backpacks that are there and they should be able to haul a lot more just by themselves. Yeah, much better numbers on them. And so we're not gonna be leaving too many people back at home, but we should be able to hold off any kind of major attacks, at least for a little while. So we're taking the two roxes and we'll be taking wildfire as well. On with you then. A sapphire meteorite. Well, that's dandy. Uh, where was that? Sorry, around here somewhere. I don't, I don't see it. Well, <laughs> I guess we'll just have to believe it's there. Oh, okay. I think it actually is. Yeah, it's just hidden by the tree. And the caravan has arrived. They're a little squished in here, but this is what we're looking at. Okay, so let's get everyone, bar Leandra. So Leandra, you're just going to hang back here with the animals, but everybody else. We're going to get you to pop into here because Leandra is still going to get, Leandra is still going to get hurt by the fog of torment that we're going to be dropping in this space. It'd be great if this area was a little bit smaller, but we can, we can deal with this. We don't really want your carrots. Um, so let's see, what do we want to do here? Ideally, we put the fog of torment just kind of right by the door just kind of down around there. Uh, everyone's going to start to lose their mind in just a moment, so let's get ready. Um, it won't be until they actually take a bit of damage that they go hostile. There they go. And search and destroy. Manos, let's just get you hacking that terminal. And gosh, he's fast. He's very fast. And look at this lot go. Uh, they're doing a fantastic job. We're just going to get you to hang back a little bit further. Um, Gary, maybe hold off on the explodey for now. Hadrak, I'm not sure why you're not moving in. Get in amongst that, thank you. Stefan, let's get you back and up into the fog. Actually, everyone back up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh dear. Uh, who's attacking our animals? Ah, uh, it's you lot, huh? Sounds like a job for Leandra Hayes. We're gonna let the rest do search and destroy. Uh, Gary, you can even get amongst it. And Manos, you know what? You too. Leandra, how are you gonna do here? Well, I hope. That's the mana bolt at a distance, and uh, you're pretty pretty good at slashing still. Charge on in. Excellent. Knock their ass into the next quadrant. Okay, <laughs> and that's more enemies. I was wondering what the pause was. Two hours until more of them appear, but uh, yeah, we've just a oh wow. Okay, that's a hefty amount. Yeah. Um, okay, they're just kind of going up the top for now. They're not uh, 
immediately attacking us. Leandra, you are getting a little bit more hurt there than I would like. Let's take down uh, Max. Ben, you're doing a great job, and oh boy, Gary, really? <laughs> All right. Now, we can't leave without taking this group out. We've got two hours to try and kill pretty much all of them. If we drop down a Fog of Torment just right, we should be able to get a whole big group of them here. That would do, Manos. If you can do that, that would do. Let's see. Okay, that's certainly going to start to hurt them all. A significant amount, it looks like. Ben is getting ready to charge on in. Manos, we can maybe chuck down another fog in just a moment. Yep, we are ready for another fog. Okay, let's see how that goes. Good job. Leandra, we're just going to get you to hold back for now, thank you. Manos, we could get you in the thick of it, but we're managing and Oh no! Ben! Ben is down. If we can take this group out within an hour, we're going to be able to leave, and that is most certainly the goal. Okay, I'm not sure what the explosion was there. Oh, it's it's Gary again, of course. Of course it's Gary. Okay, 0.8 hours, 0.7. Can we do it in time? 0.5. Come on, just take down this last enemy here, and then we should be good. Okay. We can leave. Right, we're going to check to see what our numbers are looking like after that, and that'll depend whether or not we uh, continue on or head back home with our spoils. Oh boy, yeah, we're probably going to have to head back with just what we've got so far. Jeez, we're still leaving so many of them behind. An unfinished dryad arm as well? I don't know why that's been dropped on the ground, but I think that's one of ours. Yeah, we're, we're bringing Ben back with us. We're bringing everyone else. I don't think we're leaving any of our weapons on the ground. We've got the obsidian blade. Yeah, as much as I would like Manos to just consume the corpses that are left there, it, we're going to be fighting non-stop otherwise, and we can't really afford to do that. Let's just head back with what we've got so far. And it will take them a little while to get back, but they're okay. And of course, the reason why we are bringing those bodies back is so that we can carve them up and make more flesh golems. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, Mordecai, we're going to get you to pop on over here. We are going to try and do a convert, which should get Light and Fan certainly down by a lot. Oh, I think that worked. Yeah, member of the Ash Hand. So now, Jarlin, you have your inspiration still, I think. Yeah, you do. I want you to try and see if you can uh, win them over. Your social skill is okay. What we need to try and do is to swap things around at the moment. So Jarlin, we're going to have you number one on warding. And Mordecai, we're just going to turn you off it for now. So that, I feel like with the inspiration, we might actually be able to get Lightning Fang tomorrow. I mean, she's going to be feeding a meal to Lightning Fang. Are you going to try and do some convincing? Not yet. Okay. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Ah, no luck yet. But I think that, I think it's helping. I mean, resistance is zero and will is zero, so <laughs> I think we're going to do it. We just need a little while longer. I'm sorry, what? Opium objection? Mordecai. Opium addiction? Where do we have opium? Okay, we've got opium. <laughs> Which, that sucks, because he's, he's going to have to go through withdrawal now. <gasps> Cisco, no! Metal's had a... Well, he had a ton of magic, but I'm guessing he doesn't anymore. Well, they're nearly back. Rest in peace. We've got some clan traders. They might want to trade something. I'm disappointed in that. It's never good to lose one of our dead. Uh, they've been trapped and they're digging out to escape. They have not been trapped. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you can leave whenever you want to. <laughs> yeah, we can't we can't trade with them. They're just they're just leaving. Fine then. <laughs> Mythical too? Okay. Ooh, another legendary grave. Uh, that one's a lot further to the south. That's probably going to be a teleport for Manos, I'd have to think. But after we've dealt with the other things, and that's probably going to be in the next episode. Oh, come on. Eamon Kent is gone, and Raptor Shrimp 1 is gone. Manos, what's going on? He's nearly back, but he... I swear he had enough mana when we left. Uh, we just had... Oh... Wow, okay, I was just going to say, we just had a raid noise, and no mention of a raid. We've got a raid. 30 humans. Yup. Uh, oh, who are you from? Where are you from? The Red Scorpions. Well, we're in a bit of a pickle, aren't we? These guys are nearly back. We need to make sure that we keep everyone inside. The Skaven that are here are still kind of going mad. They think they're trapped. They're not. <laughs> 
Yeah, we need to make sure that no one else goes outside the walls. I don't know. They're not attacking yet. That is a bit of a problem. But it's a problem that we're going to be dealing with in the next episode. Yes, our enemies found us. I mean, we went out there to try and find them. But it seems, with a little bit of patience, they arrive here too. So we better hope that the defences of Ashwood here are going to hold until our necromantic lord returns. But that is a necromantic lord that currently has next to no mana. Not a good position to be in. There are mana potions, however, that we might be able to tap into. But as I said, that is all for next time. For now, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned. And finally, I'd like to extend a great big thank you to the Legion on Patreon who continue to make this content possible.